So I wanted to make this video because I was going through my comment section and I had a gentleman who um, made a made a response video to my time is of the essence and I and I just got I was going through it and I'm sorry it took me so long to get back with you but I left you a, a nice lengthy comment. But you made a very interesting, uh, I just want to say you made a very interesting video, and um, I wanted to bring this up to my subscribers. But this gentleman apparently, he says he's a, um, he went to college to become a, a chemical engineer, and he worked for a company. And basically he went off and said that he never applied, he never got to apply any of the stuff that you learn in college uh, to the actual job that he was doing at the time. And this is a very, very, very important. This is a very important thing that, that 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 a lot of young guys need to realize, especially when it comes down to college, looking for a job, um, basically planning out your future. I have not been to college at all, and um, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of research about it, and thinking to myself, what is the best degree to get. Now, I've followed people like Aaron Clary, and Aaron Clary had a lot of great stuff to say. Definitely put me in the right direction for thinking about what would be a good choice. And and I, I told the guy, I said, you know what, I was thinking about becoming a civil engineer. And um, this is the problem that, you're, that a lot of people face, especially a lot of younger generations are facing, especially from my own research into looking at jobs and you know, thinking about uh, what kind of career uh, you might want to have. School, like I've said before, is an indoctrination center. It is is there to, for you to go to basically become indoctrinated. Because this is the comment I posted to this gentleman, and this is something that I've come to my own conclusion to as well. He mentioned that, you know, he never got, you know, because when you go to become an engineer, you, you learn insane amounts of math. Um, calculus, one, two, three, four, trigonometry, fluid metrics, solid metrics, you know, and it just depends on what kind of engineer you're becoming. Um, but you learn the specific requirements that you need to know in order for you to learn how to do that job. And basically, I agree with his point, all that you go to college for is to get a, a work permit. That's the degree. The degree is a work permit for you to be able to get a certain kind of job within the industry or the, or the, um, um, whatever specific job you need. That all, that's all the degree is, is a work permit. That's all it is. And so some people will go off to really expensive colleges and spend insane amounts of money to go get a work permit. Now, I guess that work permit allows them to get certain kinds of networks and all that other stuff. But if you don't know how to work a network, you don't know how to kiss ass, butt kiss and brown nose people, you're never going to get into that club. And also, it's a club. They only allow certain kinds of people to gain access to those things. And you got to know how that whole freaking system works. And it, it ties into sororities and fraternities and all this other garbage that's completely just a whole bunch of... of tap dancing and fiddling around, you know, and, and I'll say this is that especially when it comes down to engineering and, and high, higher paying jobs, you have to be most of the time in order to get the really good money, you got to be affiliated with certain kinds of groups like Freemasons and all that kind of stuff, because the Freemasons, especially when it comes down to engineering, the Freemasons were the Masons or the Masons as in bricklayers, they, they were Masons, they laid bricks, which is, uh, translates into being, they were the builders, and so in order for you to get certain kinds of jobs, you have to be affiliated with certain kinds of people like that in order for you to enter your way into the higher end of things because that organization controls what is said and what is done and what is what gets to be built and what doesn't get doesn't get to be built. And so you got to connect yourself with these kind of groups. But going back to my point, you know, you go and you learn all this math that you that you're expected to learn you spend 4 years every day waking up driving to work driving through rush hour traffic um to go and bus dress to go to school to learn all this shit that you're never going to learn in your life and even if you do get to learn it you're probably going to be in your 40s and if you're lucky maybe your 50s if your health is good to go and 
try to get this job and maybe get to touch upon using some of those skills. But by the time you're that age, are you still going to remember all those skills? Are you going to be adequate in those skills and applying those skills to the specific job that you need to do? You know, this this is why I was, um, you know, when I started looking into things like engineering, and this is why this is such an important issue for young guys, because nobody talks about this stuff. <clears throat> Especially within my age bracket, I think maybe some of my subscribers are in my age bracket. I'm 22, so, you know, the the maybe some of those, uh, maybe some of my subscribers are around that, but... The point is, school is an indoctrination center. You go there to pay a whole bunch of money so that they can waste your time, take your money, and then by the time you get into the job market, you're not you're not going to use any of those skills that you were told. So basically, they stole your money, they took your time, and they taught you some shit you'd never learn how to use or you're never going to use. And if you do get to use it, you got to be seasoned veteran. You know, and I look at some of the job requirements, especially for engineers, they want people with 10 to 15, 20 years experience minimum to get the, to actually do that kind of work. How the fuck are you going to get a job doing any of that stuff without that kind of experience? They want you to have experience to get the experience. It, it's fucking, it's a scam. How the hell do these people make this money? It baffles me. How do you, how do these people make the kind of money that they say they're supposed to make? It does not make, it doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. There's a whole lot of lies. This whole thing is a scam. College is a giant fucking racket. It is a racket. It is a scam. Obviously getting a STEM degree is a little bit better option than getting a useless liberal arts degree. But it's, but, but if you don't know how the network and you don't know how the system works, you're still going to be in the same situation. Uh, you might be able to get yourself a better paying job, but is it really worth all of that garbage that you went through to use useless skills that your money, that you spent all that time learning, busting your ass, <clears throat> learning mathematics and, and physics and all this other stuff to go and not do any of that until you're in your 50s? That sounds like a giant scam. If somebody came into an, if I had an office as an investor and somebody came into my office asking me for money for that shit, I'd laugh them out of the room. I'd say, you want me to go four years and oh, by the way, some of these people want you to get a master's, which is another waste of time. They want you to get further indoctrination, take more money out of you. They want you to go there to tell, to, to tell me that I'm going to go and spend four years learning all this shit. And then once I get done learning all that and all my money and all that hard work I put into it, I then have to have 15 to 20 years experience to even land a job doing that very same work that I was supposed to be told that I was going to be doing. Excuse me, this is a scam. This is a big fucking scam and I smell a fish in the room and it doesn't smell good. There's something very fishy about all this crap. I'm very reluctant to go to college now. I really am. And if I do go, I'm getting something that is, I'd rather get an accounting degree knowing and sitting on my ass in a, in a desk somewhere if I know that I can get myself a job. And even then, people still want you to have all these requirements. It's just ridiculous. But, you know, it, it, these are these are questions that you really have to sit down and ask yourself. What is worth the education system now? I think that it's you have a much better chance going and getting yourself a trade, going and getting yourself a trade job than than a lot of what the what the job market is set up for today with the college and educational system that has been pushed. It is just a joke. You know? It it is a really joke. And even if you want to go become a doctor, just think about it. You gotta start really young doing that. You got to go four years to get yourself a bachelor's. Most people in, in who go to the medical route either get themselves a bachelor's in biology or chemistry. Those two degrees are useless unless you go and get further education for those because they don't pay jack shit. And then you got to take the MCAT. So you're not even get you, you, unless you go and get yourself a job right after you get that bachelor's degree. Um, you're going to work a lot. And then you're going to have to take another test to get into medical school if you get in. And then medical school is another four years. And then you have another four years after that, which is the, you have you, the first, um, 
medical school is four years, and then you you have another four years, which is your residency, I think. Total medical school is is eight years total, basically, just for basic medical school. If you want to go become a surgeon or a specialist, you're looking at um, another four years. I'm sorry. If you go to become a specialist, you're looking at five a five year on top of the on top of the original eight years that you did just in regular medical school. You're looking at an additional five years of subspecialty training. So let's say you did this, you got into college, you're 18, 17. You're looking at being about um, you're looking at being about in your 30s by the time you actually ever you're, you're getting in. Now you do get paid in residency, but it's a lot of school. It's a fucking lot of school. And 90% of the uh, people that go to medical school end up in insane amounts of college debt because uh, it's extremely expensive and you have to spend a lot of time um, going to school to to study that stuff without ever actually touching the job market yet. And you can't go get a job while you're in medical school. It's impossible because you spend all your time studying and studying and studying and studying and studying. You don't have time to do anything else. You won't have time to have a job. So what are you going to do during that time where you're studying? In your 30s and you don't have a job yet. What, what the fuck's all that about? It's, it's just, you see, here's the thing. Back in the day, I think these, things like this, pursuing, um, pursuing degrees like this were much more feasible because the job market was uh, a little bit easier to get work experience it was in demand, and they didn't have all these fucking rigorous requirements that you got to have now in order for people to be able to actually do the job. I would, I would, I would do nothing more than to work as hard as I could if I was going to go become an engineer, knowing that when I got out of that, uh, when I got that degree, that I had a job lined up for me right when I got out of there. That would be worth my investment, and I would actually be doing the the things that I spent all that time busting my ass learning to be able to actually go and do that job. You see, this stuff does this stuff is it just fucking reeks of a scam to me. I don't know about you guys, but college is is a racket that they take people's money just like the liberal arts education that they push in mainstream media saying that you can get yourself a job and it's a useful degree and all this other garbage. When it's completely bunk and people go get the job and guess what happens? They end up working at as a cashier or a barista or at Starbucks with a useless degree. And if they're in debt, they have to pay that off on top of interest. It ruins your life, basically. And so if you're a young guy out there, go get yourself a trade job. That's, that is probably the best route and, and smartest investment you could probably make. It's a whole lot cheaper, and your 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 job uh, opportunity there is much more realistic than what is what is posed from asking from a, a lot of these STEM degrees and whoever the f- frick these people are that demand all these requirements. I mean, how in the world are you going to be able to give um, all these young? kids a chance in the job market if you're not giving them the opportunity asking for 15 to 20 years fucking experience. I mean, what the hell is all that about? This is ridiculous. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we allow here in America, we allow everybody to go to college. And because we allow everybody to go to college, there is an over, there is an over, um, abundance of people and there's something called supply and demand. So there's a, there's a, too much supply, but there's not enough demand, you see? And so now they this is why they push this 15, 20 years experience crap, because there's too many people. There's too many people getting those degrees, and even if it is, they, they want this because, you know, it's it, there's not enough positions of work available in order for these kids and these young people with these degrees to go in there and actually do the job that they're trained to do. And because we live in a communistic fucking country now, it seems, and which it is, there is not any infrastructure building. You know, if all the roads, let me just tell you this. Let's say, for example, you were an enge- a civil engineer and you were a highway engineer, right? Your, your job was to, was to design highways. If our country worked the way that it was supposed to work, there would be highways, there would be infrastructure, there would be a constant need to expand 
uh, and, and monitor and keep everything up to date and the highways running good. And there would be plenty of work to go around because it would require the, everybody to chip in to keep a massive inf- infrastructure like that running. But because this country is so ass fucking backwards and, and, and the government is involved, especially within highway construction, uh, and there's so many issues regarding highway construction and budgetary issues and all that stuff goes down to the government and the mayor's office and all these governors of states that, that designate where that money is allotted within certain, within, within certain cities. That in return allows the companies, the engineering companies to come in and designate the money that is needed to be paid to hire these people to do the job to build the shit. But because our country is so fucked, they don't allow that to happen. And so there, there's not enough work experience being generated from those opportunities. That is the conclusion I've come to. You know, and, and so it's just, it's so fucked, man. It was so weird. So we are slaves. Like I've said before, we're slaves in a system here. This is what this is all about. And as this country moves to more industrialization, take a look at Russia when it went through the communistic, uh, when it went through its communistic phase, when it went through its communistic time. The only jobs that people did were factory jobs, trade jobs, and infrastructure jobs. Because that's all that, that was allotted to them based upon the, the, the industry that was, that was around. And I see a very similar reflection of what we see going on today here in America. I think that we're, we're moving towards a trade type of style of work because of the way that this country is headed. You know, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's really a fucked up situation. And, you know, it sucks. But it, you better, regardless of whatever people want to think... You know, I'd love to go off and become a doctor. I'd love that. I would I would study hard and I'd love to do that. But does it make sense? Does it make sense to do that in this point in time when, you know, it's, well, I'm that's too late for me now. I'd be like 40 by the time I got done, I, you know, with what I wanted to do. I'd love to become a surgeon or something like that. You know, I find that stuff very interesting, but it's, I can't afford being 40 and, not, and, and only getting out of that by the time I'm 40. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, the, the, the college is an indoctrination center because they teach you useless shit that you never know while stabbing you in the back and taking your fucking money without ever telling you the reality of the situation. Does that seem like a like a like a, a good business deal to you? Does that is that seem like it's worth the thirty or forty thousand for a four year degree? Does that seem like the time? Does that seem like it's worth the return on investment for for you to go there and and put in all this time and effort only to be lied to about the reality of the of the of the job market and never learn any of the crap that you were told? You know, it's just, it is a, this is the side effect of why this whole system of schooling and indoctrination has led everybody up to a point where, you know, back in the day, and I mean back in the day, I'm talking maybe 30 years ago, this stuff was still reasonably, it was a good, it was still a good decision to go and do that. You really wouldn't have to run into as much resistance, I don't think, maybe you did. But it seems to me like at this point in time, the amount of resistance that you have to put up with going after those degrees as a young man, it seems like it's not even worth, it's a joke, it's a giant fucking scam. You know, this is, this is why I wanted to make this video. I mean, this stuff is really, you know, it's a very touchy subject because a lot of people are told from school, again, school being an indoctrination, you're indoctrinated to believe that if you go do something like, go do what you love and the money will follow. Well, you know what? I did that in the film business and it led me nowhere. I worked my ass off as an intern. I busted my ass and I worked my way up to become a producer. And, and I never did any of the shit I could do because there never was any money to do any of it. And by the way, the entertainment business is a fucking scam too. It's a giant scam and I learned all about it. Um, I was told that when I was a kid and, and I did that. And it led me, it didn't lead me anywhere. It, it did not lead me anywhere. It led me to be completely um, dealing with some of the most narcissistic assholes I've ever met in my life. 
You know, I got to, I did learn some business stuff and I worked with attorneys, you know, I learned how to drop contracts, but what skill does that benefit me unless I'm a fucking lawyer? I can't, you know, what does that do? You know, and it's entertainment stuff. So it's specific to only entertainment law. So you can't go apply that shit to learning about that stuff in, in a job market at all. It only could be used, I guess, for you personally. But again, it's entertainment. It's entertainment law. It's a specific subspecialty. And so here's another thing. All these lawyers, like all these people that go off to become law lawyers, that that's a giant scam too because, you know, I worked with this entertainment attorney and she had a very small office. And she, I remember she fucking, she, she did all this shit and she could barely afford to pay her fucking bills. It seemed like, because, you know, she hinted at kind of the struggle with money and all this other stuff and casual, but you can't do anything with that because the entertainment business is, is an elite club. First of all, it's an elite club of people that only are selected and that that's stuff for the elites that that's an elite, elitist, elitist club of people that are chosen to be in those fields. I'm not even going to get into the insanity of that business because it's not at all what people think it is. That is a, that is a, uh, a, a mind control fucking landmine field is Hollywood. And it's, it's satanic as fuck. And so they only want people there that are into that shit. Part of the whole system of that. So you ain't going to get in. Forget about it. And you have all these useless idiots going after, I can't tell you how many people I ran into uh, in the entertainment business. These hope wonderful inspiring people that always wanted to go and they, you know, all these young women, I'm going to go become an actress. And then they're so fucking arrogant. They think, well, I'm not going to sleep with anybody. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to degrade myself. That's not who I am. Oh, really? Well, you know, good luck. And none of them ever made it. None of them that said that ever made it. Because again, there's so many people you have to be willing to kiss ass and brown nose and suck dick to get into that business. All right. You can't just go in there with an application saying you're a good actress. So are the uh, other 50 and 60 million American people that aspire to be famous also are considered young and aspiring actresses. Who gives a shit? You don't present any value because we can pick and choose anybody we want. The same principle, I think, applies with the with the job market today for young men. I tell you what, I'm really glad I didn't go to college uh, because now that I look up, now that I look on it, I look, I actually have done the research and looked at it. It's a scam like I've never seen in my life. It is the biggest fucking educational bubble scam that I have ever seen in my life. There, every every road that you take, whatever strategy that you're trying to take, it seems like you're always going to be blocked by some garbage, useless bullshit. Because why? Why is it that all these problems happen? It's because school is an indoctrination center. This is why I've mentioned this before. School is an indoctrination, fucking brainwashing center where you go become brainwashed by garbage that they put in these young kids' heads. They take all your fucking money, and then you go into the job market, and and then guess what happens? They go, oh, you have that degree? Well, fuck you, because that's a useless degree, and uh, oh, we want people with 15 to 20 years experience, so we're sorry. We can't hire you. Uh, Well, it sucks. I can't help you there. You know, you spent all that money. Good luck, you know. Tough for you, kid. Go try it again next time. Man, fuck you. This is insanity. Does that sound like a good business decision to you to go spend that kind of money and then and then end up realizing that you can't ever get a it's just ridiculous. If I was an investor and somebody ever presented to me, I would report them to the SEC for fucking fraud just for saying that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So as a young man, this is some advice I think that I can pass on just from my own experience and researching this stuff and, and listening to other people, talking to other people, I can tell you that you need to get yourself a trade job. I think this country is headed in an an interesting time. It doesn't hurt to have a trade. It pays good money. If you get a good trade, you'll, you'll, you'll have some, you'll be able to get yourself a job doing it because it's a demand. People still need their stuff to do. And it's definitely not a degree stuffing that women will get in the way of, you know, women don't go out there and, or into plumbing or any of that crap. So you're not going to have to worry about that. 
and you're going to make good money. And if you're smart, you're a minimalist and you save your money, you'll be able, you'll do just fine. You'll do just fine. And this is why you go MGTOW because you don't have to worry about kids. You don't have to worry about a family. You don't have to worry about any of this shit. So all that money doesn't go off you know, and, and go towards any of that stuff and you don't have to waste your money. So you could do accumulate your money. You know, there are very, very, very few college degrees. I think that are worth it now, even engineering is if you like, I've just mentioned above, they want all these people to have any time that I see jobs that specifically require 15 to 20 years experience. I'm already immediately suspect because I know, especially anything that has to do with internships or, um, Anything like that, especially when it requires you to go through all that training, you better fucking give me a job by the end of this shit after going through all that crap if you're going to tell me that that by the time I get done with all that, you lied to me the whole fucking way you took all my money and you lied to me, um, and then you, you taught me all this crap that I'll never ever use, so I wasted all my time. This is why college... And the educational system in this country is an indoctrinating, brainwashing system. Go look up Charlotte Isabet. This woman basically exposed the communistic side of the educational system and, and how they are told to raise kids. They say, look, we're just following orders here, basically, and, and who gives a shit if these kids learn anything? This is a job. This is a con- this is this is the foundation of communism in an industry in an industrialized country at its basic foundation. And people are not told about this stuff. Like all this stuff I'm talking about communism and all this other stuff and all this indoctrination, nobody is told about all this stuff. So what's going to happen to kids my age that are actually going off to college now and going there? What are they going to do? I mean, they're fucked. Royally Fucked like you can't believe. They're, they have taken a giant red hot iron and shoved it so far up your ass by the time you get done with it all, you might as well just kill yourself because you're never going to get out of it. And you're in college debt too if you're stupid enough to go and get a, you know, a, a $80,000 degree. Nothing is worth that much money. Good God, nothing is worth that much money. But they have fucked the system so bad this is why we're such in a clusterfuck in this country. And this is why this country is going to shit. Because this, this doesn't make any sense. You're never going to raise it. You're never going to um, raise a country or a civilization or, or people or any of that crap when you got all of this bullshit in the way from actually going and making shit happen. But that's just how the system works. You're here to work as a slave. You are a battery. And that's what you are here. So there's no point in, 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 I mean, I don't, I don't mean to sound such of a, of a, of a dream killer here, but I've had, but I'm just trying to be honest and, and not try to get people to fall into these traps because you're really going to be hurting if you don't realize what the situation of this country, this world and what's going on here and, and the reality of our situation here. You're gonna, you're gonna really get yourself fucked, like all the people that went and got the liberal arts degrees, and now they can't get a job, they're in debt, and they're indoctrinated, they're brainwashed, and they're idiots. And these women believe in feminism, they, they are so fucked in the head, it's, this, they have brought the whole country to its knees. They have brought the whole fucking country to its knees. And this is why they start wars... To feed this military-industrial complex, because when you start wars, it generates profit, which means that it allows the industry in the country to have jobs. And so they always have to start wars, because this is how this whole fucked system is. This is a cluster fuck. <laughs> it's a cluster fuck. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to be 100% real today and making this video about the reality of the job market for young men today. A words of advice, caution yourself. If you're if you're thinking about going to college, I'd just wait. Research the shit out of it. <clears throat> Be very careful because there's a lot of lies that they're going to tell you. And the reality of the job market today is not very good. It isn't. It's just the nature of the game. Get yourself a trade. 
that's the way to go. This is, I think, the new, <clears throat> the way that this country is headed. You might as well get yourself a trade job and not just get a trade job, get many different certifications and trades so that you're, you're, you're versatile working in, in, in that. Don't just get one thing. You're going to have to get multiple things, but get multiple skills and trades because skills and trades pay off, not a piece of paper that they go and teach you a whole bunch of shit you'll never learn in your life. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. You know, if you're an older man out there, younger guys, whatever, if you're if you're in the industry, you got yourself a job, you're an engineer, tell me what you do. Tell me what kind of work, you know, I'd really like to know, you know, what kind of work experience did you have? What, you know, how did you get into the position if, let's say, you're an engineer or, or if you have a STEM degree or whatever, what did you have to go through when you went through the hiring process and what was that like for you? Honestly, I'd love to know that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.